Let's import this Photoshop file into Adobe Express to try to make it a little bit more interesting as a reel or a story. But before doing anything, make sure you rename all your layers. Also, delete unused or unnecessary layers and convert multiple layers like this group here into a smart object. And here's a tip. If you have a text layer like this one that you know you don't want to edit or change later on in Adobe Express, then go ahead and convert it into a smart object as well, just to avoid any font issues or other text glitches. Now save the file, open a web browser and go to express.adobe.com. After signing in, you should see something similar to this page. To import your Photoshop file, you can either click here where it says start from your content or click the plus sign and then upload media. Open the PSD file and wait for it to upload in process. When it's done, click open. Perfect. Now here's how we can make things more interesting. We can use Adobe Express's built-in animation presets. Click on the first logo to select it, hold down shift and select all the other logos and then click animation here on the left hand side. And you have three options. You can animate the layers in, add a looping animation and then animate them out in, looping, and out. Let's click in and then choose one of these presets like pop. Nice, to change the duration and personality and intensity, you'll need to upgrade to a paid plan. So let's do that. Done, now you can change these sliders as you want. I'll keep everything as is, I just paid for nothing. And to preview the animation, simply click here on the play button. Cool, but I don't want the logos to pop in all at once. So go ahead and click edit timeline right here and then activate show layer timing. Deselect everything and then click on the second logo to select it. You can see here that the duration of the whole video is five seconds. So let's drag the timeline of the logo from its left edge so that this layer starts after 0.2 seconds, making it 4.8 seconds long. Select the third logo, make it 4.6. You might need to move the playhead if it keeps snapping to it. Set the fourth one to 4.4, 4.2, and 4 seconds. Drag the playhead to the first frame and preview the animation. Very nice. Now I will fast forward and add some animations to the text, the button and cursor, add a looping animation for the button, and then add an out animation for everything as well. So you'll end up with something like that. When you finish, you can either share this masterpiece or download it as an MP4 video to be shared on your social media pages.